Did you? That means so much to me. You guys didn't fall asleep. That's good. That's that's the, you know. You know. Thank you so much for this. You know, the biggest reward for anyone who makes a film is that no one falls asleep. If we both closed our eyes, we wouldn't be able to make those snap judgments about each other based on what we're wearing or what our age is. Okay, good job. Whether we're able-bodied or not. Visible Essence, The Little Prince, is a feature documentary that uh, uh, really kind of tracks the journey of this, uh, this phenomenal fable that somehow has transcended culture and language and religion and uh, gender um, across the world. Le Petit Prince, c'est un message de paix, universel. The journey of, of, of making this film was really to kind of explore what it is about this book that, um, that resonates with so many people. We just screened with these young, enthusiastic uh, kids, and uh, they seemed to like the film. And uh, it was really, really beautiful to, to, to share the film with them. But what I want to do is give a context to a modern day little prince who has brown skin, who doesn't maybe look like the boy in, that's drawn in the book, but represents the spirit of, of, the, of, of that character. So that's how, that's how Sahil ended up in this film. I'm gonna show you a book today called Le Petit Prince. And if we open this up, this is where the Braille is. The line, what is essential and is invisible to the eye, really started to, you know, affect me in a different way. And I, and I thought that it would be very, very important to bring in um, a child who had lost her sight or is about to lose her sight, um, and going through that transition of, of how they're actually moving in the world. And uh, we set up a meeting with Sahil and his family, and I met this boy, and I could not believe how. I could not believe his spirit. We now have a, a braille version that was beautifully created by an artist who is visually impaired as well. There's a whole community out there that that are going to that will be able to absorb the book in a different form. So it's really exciting for me that the life of uh, the film and this braille version of of the Little Prince is is kind of working together. Again, this book resonated with me when I, from the first time I read it, when I was 21, and, um, and I just felt like in our time right now, it, would, it, would, uh, it wouldn't hurt for us to revisit this book. And I believe when it comes full circle, it is about, you know, um, our connections and our relationships that matter the most. Si tu m'as pris vision, nous aurons besoin l'un de l'autre. Tu seras pour moi unique au monde. Je serai pour toi unique au monde. What must I do to tame you, asked the little prince. You must be very patient, replied the fox. First, you will sit at a little distance from me. I shall look at you out of the corner of my eye, and you will say nothing. Words are the source of misunderstandings. There aren't many things that I think stand the test of time. Books do. And this one has, and, and it's continuing to be get passed around and translated in more languages. So I would love people to share this book uh, as much as possible.